to say we uh oh let me wait make sure this motherfucker on when i see it come on on my uh channel i know that motherfucker lie uh oh it's on uh, let me it's on. it's on okay family we're in the house today the dynamic duo is back in the motherfucking house they didn't brought the dragons out to you know we didn't we got to come out today because we got you know we got some disrespect of the household you know what i'm saying we got some disrespect of the household we got uh dj vladimir the yugoslavian con artist dj vlad come fly out his mouth on dr say if you have not seen it uh i think pharaoh got the video you know, where he say Dr. Sabi is no more a doctor than Dr. Dre. I mean, just being totally disrespectful. Uh, you know, so I knew this was going to be the day that me and Pharaoh had to rise up and come back on and, and, and defend the household. Like, because the niggas, let me tell you, you know, and, and Pharaoh going to be the heavy heavyweight hitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in, too. But... You know, all them niggas that sit on, you know, on that damn platform. See, you niggas get these beats of false sense of security. You know what I'm saying? Because he feels so comfortable around niggas that now he feel he could just say whatever the fuck he want to say about whoever the fuck he want to say it about. You understand? He had no fear because even when I seen niggas, you know, I seen Lord Jamar up there and he tried to defend, but no, you didn't defend him because nigga, if you say that Dr. Sabi is a, a grandfather figure. That's right. You say something out your mouth fly by a, a, a pox, bitch, I'm liable to slap your ass out the chair. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain shit you don't do. It's just certain shit you don't say, okay? And so he felt, you know, it, it had the nigga back, you know, he was trying to check, but he didn't want to check him because, nigga, you addicted to his platform. You feel, nigga, if you ain't got DJ Vlad pat platform, you ain't got no platform. And in reality, you don't. You know what I'm saying? And so when you got motherfuckers that, you know, you know, and when he disrespected, you know, he disrespected Dr. Say. We love Dr. Say. We love him. He just disrespected the whole black community when he did that. Because he didn't give a fuck about the love that we, we don't give a fuck how you feel, bitch. Who gives a fuck about how you feel? You goddamn K man. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know what? You know, all them niggas that's on there, and I'm going to let Pharaoh, you know, I'm trying, you know what? Cause I'm, you know, I'm trying to, re, you know, I'm not trying to reserve myself, but I am trying to re because I need to call that bitch up. <laughs> I need that motherfucker. That's what I need. I need to, I need to get, I need to go to this motherfucker so I can explain to him how the fuck I feel. You know what I'm saying? Because you know this platform right here ain't the platform for me to go eight phony. But I'm gonna let him know enough that bitch, if you say anything, I won't give a fuck about no platform. I set your ass on fire. You know what I'm saying? Because that's totally the now. If you feel that you you can't respect Dr. Sabi for the fact that he didn't, you know that's that's okay. But you say it respectfully, motherfucker. You don't disrespect a, a grandmaster teacher that we love. All throughout the black nation, you treat him like he's nothing, and you gonna talk to him that he's less than some nigga out on the goddamn street. Then motherfucker, we got to deal with you. And them niggas on your platform who can't be man enough to step the fuck up and deal with at that point, fuck your platform. You talking about, you know, I got I got the whole black nation on my head. I can't let you get up here, nigga, and say something fly out your goddamn mouth about Dr. Sabi while I'm on here, nigga. You know, plus I wouldn't be on your shit no way because you's a you nothing but a vampire. You ain't nothing but you didn't pimp the black community, dumb niggas, you know, whores, because you can only pimp a whore 
And them niggas that feel that they need to run up on your platform instead of building up a black man or a black woman's platform and getting all them millions of hits over into a righteous black man or a righteous black woman's platform. Y'all niggas run over there and get that beast, all them got all your energy, all your work for nothing, nothing but you don't even get a crumb, nigga. And so y'all build him up. And because he know he dealing with weak niggas that he can just leech and rape and do whatever the fuck he want to. He felt that he could talk and say any fucking thing out of his motherfucking mouth that he felt like it. And that's when I'm going to pass it to, because I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? Because honest, man, straight to fuck up. I go in his motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? We got to quit letting motherfuckers just say anything about, you know, the ones we love. You know, back in the day, nigga, if you said something about a nigga's mama, nigga, we throwing down. That's all you had to do. Say, Yo, mama, what, bitch? Bop, bop, bop. It's on and popping. It got to get back like that. We got to have enough respect for our people to defend their honor when it's time to do it. Dr. Sabian did a great work. And it's been a believe even the brother Nipsey and, and you know left eye and a lot of you know top you know uh, relevant black people then gave Dr. Sabi all the honors and that could be due him. So to have a low lifted caveman, hairy backed ass caveman who people just crawled out the cave two fucking days ago. God damn it, we was doctors, god damn it, at the time when your people were still in the cave. We don't need no goddamn white man accreditation. You understand what I'm saying? We created the science when you motherfuckers were still up there in Europe living with the rats, getting black death, motherfucker. We had to come up there and set Europe on fire just to run the goddamn rats up out of there. You understand what I'm saying? To get rid of black death. And so mostly all the goddamn diseases that's out here come from your goddamn people. And I want to let that be known. So we don't need no validation from no beast to be no doctor when we invented the goddamn science of medicine. So goddamn it, that's what he should have told him and put him in his place. Because ain't no beast who's still crawling on all fours got the right to speak about a God like that. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm going to pass that shit to uh, Pharaoh, but I want the, the nigga not, and any of you niggas out there that's on his platform and you love him so much, you love him so much that you come out fly, motherfucker, holla at me. Just holla at me, nigga. Don't go, no, don't go on there talking that weak shit. If you love him and, you're, and you're, you're, your throat full of the motherfucker, come. You understand what I'm saying? And you love him that much, get with me. You understand what I'm saying? But just, I'm gonna end like this. It's like Collis said, it should be nothing that a brother or sister can say about a white person that would make me fall out with them. Okay, so it just so if, if you see us getting on this goddamn head, get the fuck back. Don't you say a goddamn thing. Go ahead, Pharaoh. Ding, ding, ding. Tag me in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to jump all on this nigga neck. Now, first of all, uh, Black, you know, I want to come out and say this. Okay? It is funny. Okay? How, you know, you have the white, you know, the white mentality to believe that a nigga give a fuck about your opinion on Dr. Sabi's credentials. You you have nothing to do with Dr. Sabi's work besides being racially a descendant of the people who try to stop that Dr. Sabi's work. So you don't get to tell black people how we should value Dr. Sabi, motherfucker. That's like telling me, oh, Malcolm X as much as a motherfucking revolutionary as Kanye West, even if he was, that's not for you to say. So here's my thing. And here's just here's where white privilege okay comes in. And I and you can y'all can sit here and say, oh, it's not white privilege. Yes, it is. Because for you to feel comfortable enough to not mind your motherfucking business and speak on Dr. Sabi in such a manner, okay, shows that you feel like you privileged enough to do so. Now, before I even slit your motherfucking throat, okay, let me say this to all of the niggas 
that go on your platform. If you a nigga who claim you fuck with Nipsey Hussle, if I see you on Vlad TV, you're a dub to me. Okay? That might not be important to you. Who give a fuck? It's important to me. Because Nipsey Hussle understood Dr. Sabi's work so much that he dedicated time out of his life to do a documentary for this man. And I guarantee you, Vlad would have never said no shit like that to Nipsey Hussle. And so Nipsey Hussle is not here to react to the shit you said the right. way that he would. So I'm going to react the way that he would because I know that's what he would do. So fuck you, nigga. Straight <laughs> up, if I see a nigga on Vlad TV that I heard once before talking about who fuck with Nipsey, you a dub in my book. You're done. And then on top of that, okay? On top of that, okay? Let me say this to Vlad before I before I play the clip and do what I do. You talking about Nipsey Hussle is, I mean, excuse me, Dr. Sabi is just as much a doctor as Dr. Dre, but the federal government accredited him with his work. So I want to know, since when did your word superpower or power over or overpower the FBI? If you know, the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, he tried to say in the uh in the you know in the whatever you call the document that they didn't they didn't verify that he helped nobody. They were trying to say that he didn't diagnose nobody. So you know they so he's trying to say that the documents don't say he helped nobody. Okay, and that's what well, he's trying to say. Well, Vlad, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Okay. Because if, if he didn't heal nobody, he wouldn't have won his motherfucking case, okay? If he didn't heal nobody, he wouldn't have been able to legally, okay, practice and collect money in regards to his business in Honduras in the way he was doing. Niggas go to, do, niggas go to jail every day for playing doctor. Dr. Savy was not one of those niggas, okay? And so, come again. But now let me say this, okay? If Dr. Savy is as much a doctor, as Dr. Dre, I want to know, do you honestly believe that the doctors that you're alluding to as professionals are safe? Are you telling me that you believe vaccines are safe? Are you telling me that you believe all these prescription drugs are safe? Are you telling me that you believe all of these uh, medicines that's administered to children, young, teenagers, young adults, adults, and elders are actually safe? Because if holistic and alkaline and natural healing practices and eating from the planet Earth is something that you don't value, I want to know, what do you value medically, my nigga? So if I'm sick, motherfucker, okay, what do you recommend? That I go get a shot? So you the type of nigga that go get a flu shot during, during flu season with your stupid ass. And so I want to say this. Since we talking about medical the medical area, okay? I just want to tell you, Vlad, why you're disqualified from having this conversation, okay? You not even a human, my nigga. That's science. That's science, bitch. So, and I'm a doctor. I'm just as much as a doctor as motherfucking Dr. Dre. And so with that being said, you not even a human. Nigga, you only 93% human, 7% Neanderthal. You share 98% of your DNA with a chimpanzee, okay? So when you take that shower and you smell that wet dog, that's that canine in your blood, okay? So when we're talking about a lot of diseases, even depression, a lot of people don't know that depression, okay, has been, uh, has been passed down and, and heightened genetically due to sexually reproducing with Neanderthals, a.k.a. you, Vlad. And so with that being said, Diabetes come from white people. Heightened sense of depression is genetic. Comes from white people, okay? NTM comes from white people. EPP comes from white people. Red blood cell hemolysis comes from, come from white people. Hemolytic disease comes from white people. Hypertrichosis comes from white people. I, nigga, I can go down the line, nigga. I can go down the line. I know all of your motherfucking facts to, that'll break your back. So when we talking about 95% of the medical illnesses, those come from broken broken chains and strands in the DNA due to sexually reproducing with Neanderthals. 
And so here's my thing. Who the fuck is you to try to speak on who and who is not qualified to speak in the medical field when it is your people and your ancestor who are directly the cause of so many illnesses in the medical field? What are you talking about? Did you forget y'all came over here and wiped out millions of motherfuckers just off being stanking alone? And then you gonna sit up here and tell us that our 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 motherfucking somebody that we revere in our community is just as much a doctor as Dr. Dre. Well, I want to know which one of your ancestors was doctors. Because all of that, all of that nasty ass shit that was going on in Europe, okay, during that motherfucking uh bubonic plague, okay, even when you bury niggas today, we bury niggas today six feet. But people don't even know that that started in Europe because your nasty ass ancestors figured that if y'all bury the dead six feet, then a disease wouldn't wouldn't uh spread amongst the living. But that's because y'all was ignorant to the fact that the disease wasn't coming from the corpse. It was coming from the animals. It was zoonotic. So with that being said, OK, our ancestors don't have a history of plagues and nastiness. Our ancestors don't have a history of medical insufficiency. That's your motherfucking people. And so when Dr. Savy pull up in this day and time, even if he was successful, but even if he wasn't successful, you need to be humble, bitch. And you need to know when and when not to speak on matters that don't pertain to you. When Spanish people are going through their shit, niggas should not be commenting on that. When white people are going through y'all shit, niggas should not be commenting that. When niggas and we going through our shit, you don't get to comment on that because you are the reason, in case you forgot, that we even going through some shit. And so I'm not Lord Jamar. I'm not none of these motherfuckers. Invite me to your shit and say that. I will slap the fuck out of your ass, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no 911, none of that. That don't scare me. And so that being said, you're not going to disrespect our people and think it's cute. I'm not one of these pussy niggas that's going to let you violate our people and create whatever excuse in my mind of why I'm not going to check you at the door. Lord Jamar should have checked you at the door and walked out that motherfucking interview. That's what he should have did, okay? At minimum. Maximum, he should have dumped you on your fucking head. And so my thing is, don't ever feel comfortable speaking on our people that genuinely give a fuck about us. If you want to talk about a nigga, pick Farrakhan, pick Jesse Jackson, pick Al Sharpton, pick a lame nigga that we don't fuck with. You don't go for a nigga that's considered one of our greats. Okay? So this is just, we're going to make an example out you so that we don't have this fucking problem no more. And we're going to make an example out you to show everybody how time after time again, niggas have the chance to boss up and they fail. You got all of these niggas who keep coming on this nigga platform, letting this nigga get out of pocket time and time again. And hey, bro, did you ever listen to some Man, listen, if you even listen, cause I see a lot of money, he a ass a nigga to basically snitch. Yeah, this nigga did it. When did he do it? And the motherfucker had to tell him, man, you know I can't tell you no shit like that. He don't give a fuck. He'll ask you some shit. Now, if a nigga asks you some shit about some personal business like that, man, a nigga will look at you like him. Nigga be ready, ready to deal with your ass. But see, they let that motherfucker sit up there and put them in some life and death situation. Yeah, and you know who did it? When did y'all do it? Oh, you know, I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is you meaning? What the and fuck is you asking me some shit like that? Exactly. And I'm ashamed because if niggas gonna hold the sword to our head, you better hold two swords to that nigga head. If I can't walk up to you on the street and ask you about a crime, how you gonna let this nigga ask you about a crime? You know he don't live by the code. At least it's a chance. If I ask you about a crime, and you don't know me, at least you know it's a chance I ain't gonna say shit because I live by the code. This nigga don't live by the code. So how you more comfortable letting him violate you, set you up for prison, set you up for beef in the street, and 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 I can't do that, but he could do that. And so it's no other excuse but crackatosis. A lot of you niggas have, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the motherfucking lead engineerings and SETI's finding of the sickness that we call I've been studying Krakatosis since he put the file on my desk. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go deeper than Krakatosis, dog. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something deeper than Krakatosis, 
and I, I want to get this disclaimer before I play this video. I don't want nobody trying to assume that because we hold it down for black culture that this is a, a let's say a racially motivated check. Nigga, this is a gatekeeper check. And this is what's wrong with motherfuckers. Okay? Y'all don't know how to check the gates. And every other race check the gate. Say even, something. Even if it was race, it's not race because he made it that. Right, right, right. But you I know what I'm saying. We got our right to speak up, you know, for what the, the claim he made a racist claim because right. he don't know Dr. Sabi. He don't know right. shit about and to make a a a a a, a, a fucking comment and degradating, you know, because you didn't just degrade, you dated degradating as a man by equating his work with Dr. Dre. Right. Now, I ain't, I ain't hating no doctor, but Dr. Dre is a street nigga. Right. You understand? We know when he said Dr. Dre that we know what that means. He's right. still a doctor. You know, I'm just you know trying to say, I ain't negating that. He's a doctor with the music. Right. So he is a motherfucking doctor in his craft. But to, right. he was trying to be little Dr. Sabian, as a Yugoslavian con artist, you at that point made a racist statement because you know how people going to take that. You know what I'm saying? So however you serve that cracker, that's how he going to get served. Yep. No, I just don't want niggas flagging you. Right. You know how that go. Yeah, so we, ain't, gonna, we ain't going over him, yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get a disclaimer because he, he the type of whole nigga that'll watch this and flag. So I got to I got to make sure if he wouldn't have made the statement, well, no, you don't even exist on my radar. Exactly. I don't watch the shit that he do. And like I said, niggas get up there comfortably and do and say shit that they would not get up on no black platform and say, you understand? And won't no black commentator even ask no black people some of the shit he don't give a fuck. And just like I said, Many people that said the motherfucker is CIA. You understand what I'm saying? Now, even when Tommy Sotomayor and, uh, and, and uh, what's his name? Tariq Nasheed, even though I'm not taking sides, it seemed as if he dropped the dime to Tariq that, you know, Ty that's the way it looked. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because he just walked right in and it's like, yeah, come on, he here. Let's get this shit on and pop. I'm not taking no side, but it's like he instigated the shit to get the shit on camera and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If we got some disagreements amongst ourselves, let's keep it amongst ourselves. Ain't no way no beef should be facilitating no beefs amongst brothers, even if they handle that shit. You understand what I'm saying? So like I say, that motherfucker is on some CIA goddamn police shit because he asking niggas to actually condemn they self and you know and, and you know condemn they self on camera you know what i'm saying and just to get up there and say the shit he said about dr sabi at a time when nipsey name is being venerated it's that shit is like time you know this the right time because you you know a lot of black kids go and you know they watch this shit because you put a lot of hip hop niggas and stars up there that, that you know the young niggas and even the older cat might like so he can go in there and he can confuse Nick especially if the right motherfucker don't check his ass the little the kids can say oh, okay on DJ Vlad he disrespected and made fun of Dr. Well, say you know what I'm saying that's what pissed me off that niggas that ni I'm more ashamed than at niggas because niggas just let anybody violate us. Like y'all niggas go for anything. And then when somebody show any type of strength, y'all niggas want to have an excuse to defend the abuser. This is why I say y'all niggas got crack a toe. Because Vlad can say anything he want and violate. And it's cool. And this time the nigga went too motherfucking far with the shit I'm about to play. Now we jump on the nigga the way you post to. And I guarantee you it's niggas hurt right now. It's, wow. it's going to be a nigga right now talk about well, he entitled to his opinion. No, you're not. You're not entitled to know. Mind your fucking business. This don't have nothing to do with you, nigga. And then I'm like, you talking about he's as much as a doctor as Dr. Dre. I bet you believe in Socrates and Plato. These motherfuckers ain't even exist. So if, if Dr. Sabi 
is as much as a doctor as Dr. Dre, then Socrates, Plato, and all the rest of them Greek scholars is just as real as Casper the fucking friendly ghost. So nigga, sit the fuck down, nigga. You, this is not your area. You should have shut the fuck up and, and minded your fucking business. If somebody asks me something I don't know about, especially if it's outside of black people, I say, don't ask me that. That has nothing to do. I don't know. Don't come on this motherfucker and ask me, what do you think about, um, let me just make some shit up. What do you think about Ellen DeGeneres? I don't know, motherfucker. I don't watch Ellen DeGeneres. If Ellen DeGeneres is doing some shit with white people, that's their business. I'm worried about the black community. That's it's, right. Nigga, you need to learn to mind your motherfucking business, nigga. And so I'm going to respond to you the way uh, Nipsey will respond to you. I'm going to respond to you the way Kali will respond to you. I'm going to respond to you the way Malcolm would have responded. And I'm going to respond to you the way I will respond. And the only reason I'm turned down on your bitch ass is because y'all niggas be flagging on YouTube. But if I ever see you in person, I'm not threatening you. But I will check you to your motherfucking face. And so that being said, stop. Don't ever disrespect Dr. Savy like that or think it's okay to disrespect Dr. Savy like that. He's dead. He's gone. He can't defend himself. He went through enough stress dealing with your motherfucking people as is. You're not going to sit here and try to discredit that man's fight and his life plight by thinking that you cute. You're not cute, bitch. Okay? And it's real niggas out here that will check your bitch ass. Now, let me play the fuck shit that you said so that don't nobody say we putting words in your mouth. And then I'm going to continue to Donkey Kong on your fucking neck. Now, let me play this real quick. Hold on. Let me share my, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about it, okay? Let's, Let's talk, talk about it. Mucus is the enemy. He fucking okay, well, exposed that. For, and he, for, first, okay. Mm -hmm. for, first of all, let's just let's just look at some facts. Yes. Okay. Nice. Doctor Sabi does not have an actual medical degree. He has yeah. a certificate of uh -huh. healing. I'm about to go in on that too. I'm about to go in on that too. But let's go. It's a piece of paper that says okay. certificate of healing. So what matter of fact, let me go in on that right now. Fuck that. Okay, while you talking about let's talk about facts and blah 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 blah. Okay. When you talking about let's talk about facts, let's talk about facts. The facts is doctors have licenses to practice medicine, nigga. That don't mean that they healers, motherfucker. What are you talking about? It when a when a when a doctor gets that certification and takes that oath okay they are getting a license to practice meaning they don't fully know okay so this is why they give you new shit okay you can go to any motherfucking hospital in any city right now and ask any doctor what is in these pills you give them they're not gonna know they don't have to go look that shit up they got them so they prescribe the niggas prescriptions because they get paid okay some shit hit their desk from the higher ups that say, nigga, if you sell 100 of these capsules, I mean, excuse me, 100 of these, if, if you if you get off 100 of these prescriptions and this amount of time, we're going to pay you. So they don't even know what the fuck they be giving. They don't know what the fuck being them vaccines, nigga. This, the medical industry is a hustle. OK, so we dealing with people who who think they know what they're prescribing you and really they fucking you up. Versus somebody who knew what he was doing and was helping you. And so Dr. Sabi has no patience. You can't find one motherfucker who went to Dr. Sabi and had a side effect, had a, any kind of defect, had any kind of additional medical illnesses from his treatments. Everybody who went to Dr. Sabi all said they was healed and provided medical documentation to say they was healed. Niggas go to the doctor every day, vaccinate their kid. 60 days later, the goddamn kid dead. Motherfuckers go to the goddamn doctor every day, get, get prescribed some goddamn headache medicine, fuck around, and now they got brain damage. Hey, so, hey bro, listen, so, I'm going to let you go right. So, I've been prescribed. This was back, you know what I'm saying? I had an injury, and they prescribed me some medicine. And I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a natural nigga. You right. know, if I'm hurting, hurting, I might take that shit for a couple of days. Right. Two, three days to get that initial pain. Like, I didn't have broke my hand and shit and this, that, and the third. Nigga, I take some. But I didn't have motherfucking doctors pres prescribe me some medicine. And I'm going to always look at the side effect. 
Man, the side effects on the side of the goddamn bag is so goddamn long. And look, let me tell you, and I know niggas know this to be true. One of the side effects was the same shit that they prescribed the motherfucking medicine to me for. Come on, that's crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, do you hear what I'm doing? Looking down and shit. One of the goddamn side effects was the same fucking shit that they prescribed. He headaches and pain or whatever was one of the same goddamn side effects that the shit that they prescribed it for. I said, well, what the fuck do I need this shit for? You know what I'm saying? So in reality, exactly what you saying, dog. There ain't no, I wouldn't give a fuck if you got a goddamn license or not. When we talking about Western, man, I'm going to let you go on into what, it's the goddamn doctors that's running Planned Parenthood. What the fuck is we talking about? The Tuskegee Simplest Experiment. It's them goddamn crackers with them goddamn licenses that use up. Now, I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to let you come right back. Go look up the sister, Harriet Washington. And she got, a, she got some videos out. And she also got a book out called Medical Apartheid. Yep. Go check that shit out and then come and talk to me about some fucking licenses and shit. They using our people for fucking guinea pigs. Exactly. Hey, go ahead, Pharaoh. This shit got me hot, dog. Right. And then you gonna and then you're gonna try to downplay Dr. Sabi to to uplift a devilish, a devilish ass establishment. But let me go, let me come back here. Here we go, family, because I want to play him saying it. So, to mind you, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga got enough balls to make it even in the title. The title say Vlad tells Lord Jamar, Dr. Sabi is as much a doctor as Dr. Dre. The fact that he feel comfortable putting that shit in there, you know what I'm saying? That means, cause th not that to me, that tells me not only do you have respect, I mean, do you not only do you not have respect? For the plight of black people and, and and the people that we revere culturally, you don't got no respect for black niggas, period, that come on your platform because you're not even worried about offending them, making a title yeah, like that was a personal diss. Yeah. That wasn't even about the medicine and shit. You know what I'm saying? You took a swipe at his manhood. Come on, let me let me let me let me He's here we as go. As much of a doctor as Dr. Let me write it back. So to me, he's as much of a doctor as Dr. Dre. Okay, that's it. There we go. He said it. So I just wanted to play him saying it. Cause I don't, I don't, y'all know how we do. We bring receipts always. We don't never want nobody talking about we putting, you know, uh words in a nigga mouth. But my thing is, to you, he's as much, you know, as a doctor as Dr. Savy. To me, you are as much as a person as a motherfucking chimpanzee. So I guess we all got our motherfucking opinions running around this bitch. So my thing is, you're not going to violate and think I'm not going to violate. I will violate your whole life, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about you. Use a dusty old Nordic Viking looking ass, nigga. Sit your bitch ass down somewhere with your motherfucking you, you could slob it forehead having that. And so nobody give a fuck about you, nigga. Like this nigga, this nigga, this nigga fucked around and, 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 and he, he got him. He, he feel important because he's important. To low level niggas, like niggas who like dumb shit, like Vlad. You know what I mean? Like nobody give a fuck about who beefing in the street, but you would never, you would never ever be important to important niggas. Okay, so you can keep playing around with them BT watching ass, loving hip hop watching ass niggas, but those is not, those is not uh the pioneers of uh, and the motherfuckers that carry our ancestors on our back. But motherfuckers like us, I'm gonna put the torch on your ass. And so use it. Let me let me just pull you up real quick because I gotta hit you how I hit everybody. Cause I just I just want the nigga to look in the mirror real quick. This is the nigga, okay? This is the nigga. Like nigga, do you think you important? Look at you. Do you think you important? If you don't sit your motherfucking, if you don't sit your fucking turkey ham face ass down somewhere, okay? Look at this nigga. And so th this is the motherfucker who got the audacity to think that. We give a fuck about his opinion on Dr. Sabin. Bitch, I didn't ask you for your opinion on Dr. Sabin. And then I'm going to end on this and kick it back to you. Then you interview all frauds. 
Like, nigga, you so thirsty for an interview, you don't even put real niggas on your shit. You interviewed two, two cert more than two, but I'm gonna just name two certified frauds that you never doubled back to the public and apologize for introducing. You interviewed polite. And not only did you interview polite black, you didn't do your research on who you brought on your platform so much. You allow polite to lie to you about his entire background. I did a video on my channel exposing that whole interview. You let this nigga polite tell you that he beat two homicides. You let the nigga polite tell you that he had a murder charge that got dropped to an attempted murder charge. I don't know how that happened unless the nigga shot a zombie. Then you let the nigga polite. <laughs> then you let the nigga polite come on there and tell you he was a crip. Okay. You let a nigga come on there and lie about their whole background just for views. So how can we trust you and who you introducing on your platform to interview when you don't even know who the fuck you talking to? Then you brought Umar on there. Same nigga pissing on live stream, not washing his hands. Same nigga hoarder and living in filth. Same nigga that took the people money, ain't did shit he was supposed to do. And so, nigga, you are doing anything you can for views. And a part of me feel like you also said that Dr. Sabi shit, not just to be disrespectful, but to troll. But I'm going to just let you know, everybody ain't to be trolled, my nigga. So don't think. How many, how many videos did he have? Because I seen part eight. Yeah, he got like nine or some shit. Part nine. So That's he, ridiculous, man. That's uh, ridiculous, man. He's a bird. And so my thing is, nigga, don't be talking shit about Dr. Sabi and putting Dr. Sabi view name and no title being disrespectful for clout. It's plenty, it's plenty of ways to clout chase. This ain't it, nigga. This is exactly, I mean, this is directly disrespectful, nigga. This is not a joke. This is not nothing. We're not playing about our people that that that's important to us. Nigga, go play with another nigga. Go play with one of these rappers. Nigga, go play with Young Thug or somebody. Don't come over. Don't come disrespecting and playing with Dr. Sabi, a man who died, a man who left his family behind, a man whose, you know, uh, legacy they trying to destroy. And you think you're going to add on to that on such a platform where you're going to just talk down on Dr. Sabi. And in, in, in the way that they killed him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we, 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 need, we need answers about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel that that's over with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a, a 80 year old to your, um innocent man. I mean, even the 80 you got damn, you gonna put him in a cell? You understand what I'm saying? Just cause he got ten thousand fucking dollars, you gonna lock a man up and you know he making money. Come on. God damn, he's a doctor. He's healing people. You know, but he's putting his money back on. He ain't living like you know no nigga out here got big. Matches, he puts his money back off into the people. So, I mean, I know where he was at, Nicaragua, wherever the fuck he was at, where he was down, Honduras and shit. They know what Dr. Sabi was doing. So to put him, uh, that's all conspiracy. And so for you to bring your hairy backed ass in caveman and did, you know, you disrespecting the whole agenda. You know, that was an uh, open attack, not just on Dr. On the uh, on the community as a whole, you know what I'm saying? You don't open up your motherfucking mouth and say shit, even about no black people, right up, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, we no. don't them whole ass nigga. Yeah, they deserve to get get on. But when it comes to black people, bitch, shut your motherfucking mouth. Period. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck on up out of our business. But like I said, you know, I'm gonna hand it back to you because I'm, I mean, too many niggas. And like for the brothers that don't know about the culture, that's understandable. You know what I'm saying? But just like you said, many of them niggas are, 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 are big up Nipsey Hussle, knowing Nipsey Hussle's life was about bringing Dr. Sabi's life to the people. Come so on. So you digging Dr. Nipsey Hussle and what he was about, then how in the fuck you gonna be over there on the platform with the beast while he disrespecting Nipsey Hussle's life? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? His life struggle and what he was trying to, you disrespected a whole lot of motherfuckers when you did that. You know what I'm saying? And quiet as cap, he disrespected Dr. Dre too. <laughs> yeah, he did it. You know, he like, fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? And if ain't nobody gonna check you, nigga, I'm gonna check you at the door. So I don't give a fuck. And nigga, I'll run into you, nigga. I don't give a, let me let you know. Yeah. I, I, I ain't threatening nobody. But I, I will, nigga, I will, nigga, what? 
I will, nigga, I'll look you in your eyes. I'm going to let you know that. I'll look you in your eyes. I'll be in L.A. all the time. Matter of fact, I'm going to be in L.A. Matter of fact, let me use this moment to uh get me a little clout in there. I'm going to be in L.A. June 15th, throwing a motherfucking mixtape listening party. So, Vlad, feel free to invite me, nigga, if you feel any, because I'll let you know. I'll look you in your eyes with no power, and I wish you would. I bet you won't say that shit. Ain't coming nowhere near the because they know the G's got you. Oh, that, would be, that would be literally like yeah. walking off the side of a mountain. That nigga. Hey, don't that. That. I'm gonna I'm end on this. We not gonna give no excuse for people disrespecting us. We don't have shit. Okay, these motherfuckers in conjunction with bitch ass niggas have eliminated every motherfucking powerful piece we've had on the board from. Marcus Garvey to Malcolm to Kali, okay? We try, we doing what we got to do as far as that, you know, that the uh, intellectual capacity go. But be, before us and Savy, Savy was 80 something years old. He's way before my time. So you're not going to never think you got no free pass to disrespect our plight. I don't even fuck with Martin Luther King like that. And I'm not going to let you talk about Martin Luther King like that. And I do not agree with Martin Luther King. That's right. That's I'm right. Not gonna, yeah. It, it's just like when I seen that interview where they asked Malcolm, they said uh, a white person asked Malcolm, they said, Malcolm, what you think about uh, brother Col no, Colin Powell? He said, it don't matter what I think about Colin Powell. That's our brother. And we, we keep that in house. And that, and, and I, I, I understand that. And so for you niggas who don't understand that, Shame on you, but you're not gonna you're not gonna violate Sabi. I wouldn't give a fuck if Dr. Sabi was the most clownest black person to ever live. That's our motherfucking problem. That's not your problem. So don't ever feel comfortable to speak on uh icons in a degrading manner. Keep but you know what? But the simple fact that we don't need their validation. You know what I'm saying? Right. They act as if if white people don't validate you, you ain't validated. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact that we love him and we I love our elders and we love and we don't need their val validation that devalidates their ass. You know what I'm saying? And they can't they can't take that. But the fact that he got eight motherfucking man, I, I don't even Lord Jamar. Damn, dog, what the fuck would you sit up there, eight? Man, if you wasn't digging in it, that shit should be rippling all across the internet because you 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 body slammed his ass. You know, I, at I, that I, point in time, and I'm going to let you, at that point in time, we need a champion. We need a champion, dog. He called, he figured, he already got that shit planned because I know Lord Jamar ain't playing that. Right. I hope he didn't. I hope it didn't show up at the goddamn fight neither. So he planned it and he planned who he could pull that shit out on. You know, because certain motherfuckers, you know, you ain't going to be able to pull that platform out on and not get drugged, motherfucker. So goddamn, he did eight episodes. And you mean to tell me that shit ain't real? Put me on eight, bitch. The first one, your ass would have been on fire, nigga. You would have been running up off the camera. On fire because I would have set your ass. So how the fuck he do eight and you sit there all eight and and just sit there calm? Oh my gosh, cause they love man. Listen, he got them niggas. He got them dog. He got them my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He got them where if they don't got no other platform. They ain't got no other platform. But his platform without that. White boy platform. They ain't got no platform. That's why he know. When he picked whoever he chose and he picked Lord, I don't care. Motherfucker, you sat up there while he disrespected the man. And I'm not disrespecting you, nigga, but you disrespected yourself and you disrespect because you didn't go hard enough. You did not go hard enough on him because he wouldn't have never, ever, if he thought that doc, you love Dr. Sabi, and I hope you do, that you, if he loved that he would not have approached Dr. Sabi, oh, Dr. Sabi just as much. Now, I could understand if you come at, you want a critical debate and say, you know what? I respect what y'all feel about Dr. Sabi, but I got a question for you because I didn't, I didn't see that he was a, a legal doctor. Right. You know, in my mind, if you're going to come righteous, bitch, you're right. not going to 
it's gonna come fly out your mouth. He just as much a doctor as Doctor. Bitch, <laughs> shut up. Motherfucking <laughs> mouth. Bitch, who you think you're talking to? I'm at the gate now. If I don't go come to the gate, and the whole nation gonna be mad at me. Right. You know, so you gonna call me on a video to disrespect a beloved man of all beloveds all around the world? He not just be the man. This man don't. Them people don't give a fuck about nothing. Vlad, the weak ass Vladimir got to say about Doctor Satan. This man is validated and loved all over the world. People know in spirit and divinity what he even gave the black nation. Niggas wouldn't even be on the level, you know, of eating organically and naturally. Doctor Sabi is probably the one of the largest components if not the largest component in the probably the last 20 years that got us where we at as many vegetarians and holistic you know organic you know you know family we got out here today he's a large part of bringing us like dr ben is for egypt dr sabi is for health dr clark for politics in west Africa. so we got all these great so he's a large Man, mother, if he wasn't the kind, niggas would be fucked up. Even worse, way more fucked up than where, where we at. We Everybody trying to eat a little healthy now. You understand what I'm saying? And that is a motherfucking plus. That's nothing but a pl all over the world, not just here in America, down in the islands, in Africa, over in the South Pacific. They know Dr. Sabi, all down in Central and South America. So this man then changed lives all over the world, and these and our people validate him. And so for that bitch motherfucker to open up his mouth and then choose this brother as, okay, nigga, you gonna be my punching bag. You right. gonna be the one I open up on, and I feel comfortable with you that you know without my platform, nigga, you ain't got no platform. So you ain't gonna approach me on the level of trying to be disrespectful because you know nigga once i cut this camera off your ass going back to be a being a nothing ass nigga basically go ahead pharaoh man i'm gonna end on this i'm gonna run into your bitch ass one day vlad and i'm gonna check the shit out you bitch and sure. i'm going, and i'm checking you on live i'm gonna i'm gonna do you right i'm gonna let the world know we ain't going for that and i ain't going for no tough shit either i ain't threatening you I'm not saying I'm gonna do no physical physical bodily arm, but you better believe when you run into that nigga with that hey rule on his arm, I'ma check your bitch ass. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna your bitch ass up. I'm gonna be live. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna be live and I'm gonna check your bitch ass. And I dare you to do some tough shit. Cause you're not gonna disrespect. We don't we don't play that. And so I'm letting you know now publicly. I'ma check your bitch ass when I say I'm gonna look you in your eyes and let you know it's not sweet. Don't disrespect my nigga Savy like that. He already been through enough before he passed. He don't need to be dealing with that shit after he passed. And so I'm going to check your bitch ass. I ain't threatening you. I ain't saying I'm going to do no bodily harm. But I got freedom of speech. And I have an opinion just like you. And I have the right to tell you to your motherfucking face how I feel. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, let you know. I'm, do me like you did, Lord Jamar, and tell me that shit. Because I'm going to check you when I see your bitch ass. And I'm going to end on that. I'm not going for that, that bitch. Just de de legitimizing any platform. You know, again, like when we talk talking about boycott, I don't even fuck a boycott. Because number one, you shouldn't be giving your motherfucking money and your energy to a motherfucker that ain't giving nothing back to you no way. I seen other... Uh, even before this jumped off, where it's brothers and you know sisters out there then had a hip hop platform longer than DJ Vlad, colder than his platform, but niggas do not go to these brothers and sisters and you know push them so we can have an and who gonna give respect and you know to the culture and to the people. We don't do that. And so that's no different than us going to Gucci and going to Louis and going to all this other shit so they could disrespect us. Yeah. And we continue to go back to these motherfuckers over and over because they think that we need them. I'm gonna tell you, I'm about to be out of here, man. You got to come up off the white man titty. You got to. 
You understand? You got to quit. When you got it in your heart and mind that you could do anything in this world, accomplish anything that you will without white people, then you going to be free. But as long as you need them in your heart and mind, you going to stay on that white man titty. And when it come time to bring that mallet and bring that hammer like you need, you ain't going to have the will. You ain't going to have the initiative initiative you ain't gonna have the heart to bring it because in your mind and your heart you believe that you need them that's krakatosis nigga period krakatosis that's right you got it. and i'm gonna end on this black you ain't gonna be happy to somebody do your ass like they did Charlemagne when he disrespected Lil kim you gonna keep, <laughs> you gonna keep playing. i ain't saying i'm gonna do it but i'm just letting you know you you think because you white and you think motherfucker, everybody not scared of jail. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, get my get I don't even drink milk. Get my motherfucking milk in my G. I drink me a two percent that day. So y'all, everybody don't give a fuck. Everybody not going for that. So I'm just letting you know from here on out, for you having such a big platform, you should be more aware. Whoever your team is should be more aware and advising you not to be saying certain shit about black people because. You know, I ain't wishing nothing on you, but you're not going to be happy until somebody do your ass like they did Charlemagne for disrespecting Little Kim. And so, you know, I'm going to end on this. I'm going to end on this. I believe, and I'm going to just say, and I'm not about no boy, but this shit needs to be vocalized in a stronger way. The black power community, the African Senate community, the so-called conscious community should put a boycott. I'm just using the term because that's what niggas mind will register right. they need to boycott this motherfucker in the black community they his name should go across the community niggas should have memes and everything boycott dj vlad for disrespecting dr sabi flat out motherfucking memes every block that bitch don't watch none of his motherfucking the niggas that go on it and send that shit to them niggas that go on there put that shit in their motherfucking inbox bitch we boycotting that motherfucker he gonna openly apologize number one and still we we not going back to the beast we need to find other black commentators and you know people's on the internet that's interviewing black people that's honest and righteous and doing the good work and it's a lot of them out there i've seen some brothers and sisters that was up there already talking about him before he even did that saying he was cia but the motherfucker should be putting that shit up there, taking clips and where he's disrespecting the, and put that shit block, block his ass, boycott his ass, and anybody fucking with him that do not honor that boycott for disrespecting uh, Doctor Safety. I mean that. I mean that. I'm about to. I'm, 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 about, to start. Oh. I'm about to post it on my IG. Man, please, God, man. Please, you know, do. please, do. please do it. Get it. Let's get it rolling. You know, I can't do, you know, I know you, y'all got a lot more energy and shit, man. Please get out there and do some shit, man. I'm black. I'm going to back you. I'm going to come and run up the middle sometime. But I need the, the young, vigorous and warriors out there to get out there and do that work, man. I got you back. Get on his head. Get Don't get off it. Get on it and make that motherfucker understand. He fucked up when he said that. I'm going to go out like this. Remember, uh. Uh, uh, minister society, and he had that in the interrogation room. He said, and he kept asking him questions. He fucked around and slipped up. You know what he said? You know you fucked up, don't you? Yeah, you fucked, you up. You fucked up. You know you fucked up, don't you? You done fucked up. You done said the wrong thing. Get on his head, family. All right, man. As always, it's a pleasure. I'm gonna be on Pharaoh's uh page when. Shit. Uh, when is it? Tomorrow? Yeah, let you know. Shit. Soon. I'll be on Pharaoh's page real soon. We got to we got to get on y'all niggas. Hey, make sure y'all go get your motherfucking tickets right now. It's up youngfrill.tickleet.com. Hip hop Illuminati exposed June 30th. We won't be playing no games. Go get your motherfucking tickets right now. Young Phil got put it in the link before this motherfucker end. Go right in the link. Hit that motherfucker. Be in the house. God damn it, we sick of this shit. Get your ass in the house. So you can be deprogrammed, nigga. That's right. You're yeah, gonna be in the house because this, this going this has got to be a part of that. This got to be a part of that on yeah. a deeper level. 
and see this is right here is PG-17 on the edge of R. You know, motherfucker couldn't go in, you know what I'm saying, like a motherfucker wanted, but we did do that with the passion that was necessary. But sometimes we got to take the motherfucking gloves off. Sometimes we got to take the gloves off and we need those, you know, those top of our, you know, our movement to be in the house so you can get this information so you can take it out there. And just like I said, I'm going to end. You know, you ain't got to drop it on there raw, whatever, however much cut you got to put on there to serve that shit to the people. That's on you. We put it on the table raw. You put the cut on it. That's it, family. This is the General Sara, Young Pharaoh in the house. Thank y'all for coming out. Hip hop uh, uh, exposed, hip hop Illuminati exposed. God damn it. When is that date? June 30th. June 30th. Have your ass in the place, nigga. Go get the ticket today. God damn it. Don't wait. Go and get the ticket and be in the house so we can do the righteousness to our people that's de deserving of it. All right, Pharaoh, you, you got any last words? You know, my last words is this. You know, all that nice shit go out the window when a nigga get disrespectful. So I'm tired of all that weak shit, yo. Everybody think we are weak because we be trying to mind our business as a people. And and y'all motherfuckers got to know when to stand up, just like y'all always seem to know when you want to sit the fuck down. And this is not a time where you sit the fuck down. If you let this nigga get, violate, not only is it going to not be the last time, now you're going to open the door for everybody to violate. And we're not going to even open it. Bitch, you're not even going to turn the handle. So, you know, my, uh, I'm going to, so this shit finna end now. I'm finna start the boycott on my Instagram right now. Okay? And we'll see yeah. where it goes. But with that being said, yeah. you know, young people. Hashtag, hashtag boycott DJ Vlad. God damn it. Vlad. Cancel Vlad. There we go. Cancel Vlad. That's where it's at. Cancel Vlad. Straight up, if you black and you give a fuck about your people just a little bit, motherfucker, can't so black. If not, go just if not, go over there and please go over there so I can write your name down. So we see you, we see head. your bitch ass. We see your bitch ass. So when she hit the fan, I can say that's that nigga that was on black. Uh-uh. Get that nigga. Yeah. Yeah, that's the nigga that was on black. Yes, you was, nigga. We wrote your name down, nigga. You was number 38. Yes, we you see are. your bitch ass. We see your bitch ass. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, family, we love you, man. Thank you for being here. You know, subscribe to the general. I'm trying to get back up the ladder. You understand? I'm coming up the ladder. But help a brother out. Subscribe. Hit notification. Young Pharaoh trying to go to 200,000 goddamn subscribers. Get him there. Get the general up. We dropping like pigeon shit. Nigga, stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit no Like it because you love it. Okay, the dynamic dynamic duo is in the house once again. All right, family, we love you, Black Power. This is the General Sara Soon Seti and Young Pharaoh saying, "Hey, arm yourself with knowledge, bang on that wicked ass beast daily, liberation through African education and confrontation." Black Power, peace.